All right, folks, let's break this one down. Kareem Silva versus Viviani Arujo. The odds have Silva as a solid favorite at minus 265. Well, Arujo's coming in at uh, plus 225. This line tells us that Silva's grappling is really what's expected to be uh, the game changer here. And honestly, it's hard to argue. I feel like Silva, not just a grappler, but a finisher, 13 of her 18 wins have come by submission. She, she knows exactly what she wants to do in there. She's going to get her opponent to the mat and, and hunt for that tap. Silva's path to victory is crystal clear in this fight. She's relentless when it comes to imposing her will on the ground and in the mount position. Silva's got a 72% takedown success rate, which is legit in this division, especially against someone like Arujo, who sits at a solid 78% takedown defense. As let's be real here, Silva, she's got this aggressive style and ability to find submissions that uh, um, gives her a serious edge. She's not the type to really wait around. She's going to press forward and try to get Arujo to the mat early and uh, look for the finish. Her style really forces her opponents to play defense from the start, and I feel like that's really how she dominates. Uh, she's not here for a striking battle. That's not really her forte. And uh, if she can make this a uh, grappling-heavy fight, I feel like she's going to walk out with her hand raise. Now, Arujo may be the underdog here, but don't sleep on her. She's got crisp boxing. She lands at 47% of her significant strikes, and she throws a lot more volume than Silva, averaging 4.1 strikes per minute compared to Silva's 2.6. And if she can keep this fight on the feet, I feel like she's got a, a chance at least frustrating Silva and maybe pulling off a decision upset. I feel if Arujo's game plan is straightforward and simple, she controls the distance uses her boxing to keep Silva at bay and really make her pay if she gets too aggressive with the, those takedown attempts. The key here for her will be to pace herself. Her cardio of late has been a bit of a question. Uh, she's going to have to manage the fight pace and, and avoid getting dragged into uh, a grappling game with uh, Silva. So I feel like if we look at the uh, value here, I got to say that I feel like Silva's odds I, it puts her around 70% to win with Arujo sitting about 30%. Uh, Silva's obviously the favorite for a reason, but Arujo, I don't think that she can be uh, completely taken out of the picture here. Uh, if she can stay on her feet and keep Silva at range, uh, she can make this a lot closer than the odds suggest. I think there is a shot for some variance here with Arujo as the underdog. Women's flyweight underdogs have been very decent historically, even though 2024's been very chalk heavy at 18 and six. If we look at over the past four years, if you bet on every women's flyweight underdog, then you'd be up a, a thousand, uh, almost $1,100 in the same $571 since last year, 2020, 22 and 39 for plus seven, 571 units. 22 and 39 for plus 571 units on every underdog since the start of 2023 in the women's flyweight division and uh, 62, 103 and 2 for plus 10.98 units in the UFC women's flyweight division since 2020. This weight class definitely has a, a lot of unpredictability. As for the total, it's looking like a solid pick for the over. In 2024, only three women's flyweight fights have ended inside the distance. So I'd even consider the over as a parlay piece here, given the lot lopsided odds on Silva. I feel like they're, it's one of those fights where the market is just creating these based on the stylistic matchup and the potential for her to potentially close out this fight. But I really don't, I feel like Arujo's boxing is going to be just enough to keep her on the outside. And if it's a 15 minute fight, I feel like it's going to be a coin flip. Given those lopsided odds, I, I, I feel like the over will have a little bit shaded towards the value side and could provide a, a, a safe parlay piece. I feel like bottom line, Silva obviously favored for a reason. 
she's on a hot streak and she has the tools to dominate if this fight finds the mat. But I will say that Arujo's her fighting style, her striking, I feel like it does give her a shot here, especially if she can keep Silva on the back foot. If Silva takes control early, I feel like obviously she's probably going to cruise, but if Arujo can keep it standing and keep the distance, there's a definite value in the underdog here, I think. So I'm on a small shot on Arujo at uh, plus 215 at Pinnacle and the over two and a half rounds as a parlay piece. We're going to keep breaking down this card. If you haven't already, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's go.